here are the funky piantas. Hello, YouTube. Hi. Hi, hi, YouTube. Hello. And welcome back to another redstone tutorial. I know it, I know we've just like just done one of these, but we really was but we were really dying to show you this epic tutorial that I think you've seen in our videos. This clock right here. It seems pretty cute and docile, but overall it's actually pretty insane. And it changes all four of its faces every single time that you basically Oh, and we also attached some chimes to this, but just don't worry about that because that's kind of stupid. <laughs> Here we go. Still in sync. Still you should take out the sync. top and show the viewers what it's like when it switches. No, that'll that'll be this one. That's why we have this clock right oh, here. Yeah, this, one. this thing is what it looks like, and oh jeez. <laughs> It does a whole lot of stuff. But honestly, we are going to give the tutorial for this today so you guys can build this at home yourselves. Whee! But we recommend for beginner redstoners, please do not try this at home because this is a very difficult tutorial to follow. Unless you have a load of time on your hands. Yes, because it takes a long time to build this. So, step one of how to build this thing. I'm gonna build mine out of actual like black stained glass just because, you know. Okay, I'm gonna go and Actually, no. You. Uh, I'm going to build mine out of some little white stained glass because, you know, then you can see better what's going on here. So basically, all you have to do is build your clock tower first. So this is going to be your little footprint for your clock tower. It has to be shaped like this because this is exactly how the redstone fits in. So you actually want to make sure that this is around 10 tall. Can be more, can be less. I recommend around 10. Five, oh, I just switched. six, seven, eight, the nine, just switched. <laughs> So yeah, I would recommend around this tall if you're going to do it. It's actually it can be taller, can be shorter. The one here is just like a prototype, so that's why it's so tall. This actually uses a block swapper, so if you just want to make a block swapper, then this yeah. actually will no, Actually, work. no, I actually have a different block swapper here. This is actually my little block swapper design. Oh, that's I'll for just... Xbox. That's yeah. for Xbox. Yeah, it's actually worth This is Xbox. not Xbox compatible, by the way, this clock. I know the other clock, but this is like how you build it. Make sure this cauldron is filled, and this cauldron is filled so it gives an output. Yeah, we'll do another video on that. And make sure that you have your torches like this, and this both these repeaters are on one tick. This yeah. one is on two ticks, this one's on one tick. We'll sticky do another piston, video, I think. and these ones are sticky, these ones are not, these ones are also not sticky. And this guy is a normal piston, but he's a sticky. And you want to make sure you have a tripwire hook right here if you're going to try to build this thing. So you that's know, really. Let's just do a separate tutorial on that. Um, I think I already just showed it, but yeah. that's actually a pretty simple one to build. This, on the it. other hand, is definitely not as simple to build. So you just want to keep going up like this. It's actually a pretty grueling process. But we're actually going to actually build the entire exterior of the clock first because it's actually easier to just hook everything up like that. So, now, for the face. The face is actually a little bit more complex. Complex. What? Oh. Well, anyway. Yes. Um, Palm Dude has to quickly um, leave the room for a second. So I will be right by myself for just a moment or two. So now for the clock face, it's a little bit complex, but I will assure you that I will make this really, really easy. So. I'm back, dude. Sorry about that. Alright, so basically all you need about this one is just a nice little... Yes, I'm at Redstone Sports House for any weird questions. Yes, we are. This is, this is only, this is only like, Temporary. this only happens, like... Yeah, so it goes like, basically just goes like this, and you have to go up three, like this. This isn't every episode, but yes, I think we'll do, we'll do this. Well, we do this. Yeah. So you want each of your faces to basically just look like this actually really really tricky i'll build one oh there's water everywhere there's water under my mouse dang it i think your mouse got watery what the bat is wrong with your face but anyway so let me quickly highlight the shape of this entire thing so you guys can see it better in the video oh my god here comes the fooling around there's so much water, <laughs> you got water. No, there's gonna be redstone here. I recommend not doing that. Oh yeah, good point. 
Oh, I just completely epic failed at this, so. <laughs> Oh my God. Anyway, it looks like a, it looks like a, you basically just want your face to look like this. And don't forget your little part down here at the bottom. Basically, your entire face is going to look a little bit off, but don't worry, it works a little bit better that way. So, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, just summing this up, we're just going to have to make all four faces look exactly like this. Don't forget to... Make sure every single aspect of your face is perfect because otherwise all your mechanics will not fit. Oh yeah, not a perfectionist, so please, please me. Thank you. <laughs> You're going to build this thing. <laughs> Alright, but anyway, so we are going to start on the setup right here. So... We recommend that you make your face to look like this with your little. Yeah, it certainly is. This is probably one of the most complicated ones. <laughs> I'm just so I, I love we, running. So that. it's going to be switching from three to twelve. That's really it. Mm -hmm. From three to twelve again. If we can actually make it. And six, that's really it would be all it accurate, does. No, it's actually really difficult to do. I, I might actually make a clock face some other time. That actually yeah. just. Showcase to all four positions, wow. which is actually going to be a really difficult challenge, but I like challenges. But anyway, so the point is, we are going to need to build this in a very specific order. And make sure that you have your sticky pistons first. They're going to have to be looking a little bit like this, or actually, they're going to have to be looking like this. Like this. Oh my god. But anyway, you have to make sure that they are on... One block behind the door, so when they are extended, they are flush with the wall. And you also have to make sure that they are on the right side, otherwise it's going to be switching from 9 to 12, but that's okay. So, that's it. <sighs> Problem solved. <laughs> you got, you got <laughs> He's in myself. You. He's in me, in spectator, so I... <laughs> Alright, but anyway, so we are going to start our wiring, so we are actually going to do our, our orange circuit, no, it's going to actually be our yellow, oh my god, please, I'm doing a backing tutorial, so this is going to be our little, oh okay. my god, okay, thing, go. this is going to be our yellow circuit, <laughs> we're going to have to line this with some redstone, that's really it, for now, and we're also going to have to have another one, another one, like this, one. I'm not exactly sure. Oh my <laughs> bapping. Wait, I think I actually have to go like two lower. Wait, how bapping low does it have to be? Oh jeez, that has to go actually really, really low. Oh my god, can you please just stop being an idiot? Okay. Thank sorry, you. Sorry, I just had to do that. Because <laughs> you said yellow circuit. So yeah, we're going to have to also have a bumblebee circuit. I quit. <laughs> Alright, but anyway, we're going to have to have <laughs> this thing be on, almost always. Click. Clicky. So it has to click, go down like this. Click, 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 click. click into click, a redstone. Click, 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 click. Into a two tick, into a one tick repeater. And this actually has to go over into a three tick repeater right here. Into another three tick repeater right here. Into a monostable. And to a one tick repeater into another monostable. And make sure the block is actually up for this. And then we want a two tick repeater. That is gonna go into Alright, so it's gonna go into a two tick repeater into these two redstone. And actually this right here, sorry about this, but this is actually gonna be our Ah, nobody cares. I'm just going to build out of yellow. <laughs> there really isn't any circuits for this, but I'm just going to build out of yellow, and I apologize for this. I'm waiting. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for some stupid comments. I, I'm waiting. Yay, there we go. That's more like it. All right. 
But anyway, so now we are actually going to place the rest of our pistons. As you can see, these are extended, and it's actually going to run into this block, into a torch right here, into another block up here. It's going to power this redstone. And we actually need one, two torches, and then one, two more, like this. So just to clarify the number of torches, because this is extremely important. So we are actually going to quickly destroy these pistons, because they are in our way right now. Yeah. But anyway, we're going to put two pistons like this, and two pistons like this. Make sure they are three blocks away from each other like this in the door frame. No, sorry, the clock face. Yeah, you are. If you can manage this in survival, then you are pretty insane. And if you even want to do this in survival, or if you even see this video and want to do it in survival, props. A huge, bepping props, because that's insane. Insane dedication to the funky fiestas. So you want to replace your pistons like this. You want to basically do it all like this so that they're going to push some blocks pistons, down. Pistons, pistons, and pistons, we're just going to place pistons. some of our blocks right here. So it's 12 right now. Actually, we'll just make it three just because. We're going to put our little no, white blocks. No, no. I'm like 12, maybe. That doesn't matter. It's just easier to do three. You want to place your white blocks like this. And you want your block based blocks like this. Then you just basically want to. Hashtag save the bumblebees. Yeah. Everybody save bumblebees because they're actually really important. We won't have awesome angiosperm. Yeah, I know, right? But anyway, you want to put out your clock basis like this. So now it's actually complete. And now we actually just want to put another torch with a block on top into a two tick repeater. And we're actually going to mirror this on every single side. One to two tick repeaters running out from this. And I'm just constantly are... reloading all my chunks. You're so weird. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna like have flashing. to have these run into mono stables. Make sure there are solid blocks on top of these. And you want them to run into a one tick repeater into a block. <laughs> there we go. That's a little bit nicer. <laughs> All right, but anyway, just to prevent it from failing, this is kind of optional. We put some pistons right here because sometimes it does fail because this thing will be running on a clock. Well, usually for us, it will. So basically, now that you have this part done, you actually want to fill in the top of your clock. And I think this is, you can fill it in any way you want, but we think that this way looks best. So just placing them like this, and you have like a top that just looks like this. And that's probably the easiest and that's looking way. That's how we do it. So it looks like this. It's exactly how it's going to look. Or it should look exactly like this when you fill in all the faces. So now... Heck yeah, I want to get in your view. Oh my god. But anyway... I want so to now get we have in your to, view! There we go. So now all we have to do <laughs> is actually power these pistons. And this is actually what takes up most of the room in this entire circuit, which is probably one of the most insane things I've ever heard. And then this video is going to be long. Yeah, it's going to be extremely long. But anyway, this is like one of the most tricky parts. Basically, all you want this to be is like this. I want it to go all the way up. So here. Run that stone all the way up here, so it should look a bit like this. So we're going to have our little two platforms right here and a little two platforms right here. And for this, you actually probably don't want glass because you're going to actually have to place some redstone on this. Not not these ones, only these ones. In the corners, right here. So you're going to have to actually place some redstone right here. And two more like this. Well, I mean, you could just place a slab right here, but that's just a little bit easier. So we'll place two more like this. Yep. <laughs> two more like this. And it's so all very have, repetitive. Yeah, it's extremely tedious. But that's usually how redstone is. Yep. So now you want to grab your half slabs and just run them up like this. What is the true meaning of redstone? I don't know. So now this will be powered. You just want to do the exact same thing. Run up your half slabs like this. And you should be all done. That is actually it. <laughs> So you just want to fill in your clock faces like this. Oh my god. So you want to vepping fill in your clock faces like this. 
Here, I'll help you. I'll make some. Okay, I'll do this one. It looks a little bit weird, but I mean, that's just for tutorial's sake. Oh, then you have to link up the, the redstone. Yeah, that's actually really simple. It looks so nice. So basically, up. this is going to be your input right here. It works with any pulse longer than eight ticks. So a stone button is actually, yeah, is actually pretty much perfect for this. Actually, no, this is, no, this is actually perfect. So, all right. So that would actually work. If it doesn't work exactly like this, then you've done something wrong. Look at the top as well. I know, the top just looks weird, but that's the only thing we can muster. So basically what you want to do is run your little you gotta make sure you have enough room on the top to yeah, you have to build bottom. high for the tower. Yeah, you have the monster stable. And down here, this is like the most effective way of powering this. I think it actually works with like five tick pulses, but that's probably just me. Let's not try. So all I have to do is just do this. Put the monster stable right here. Do like a little bit of a pulse extender, and then now you can wire this right up to whatever you want. So this, so this is more like our input. What are you doing? <laughs> so that is like a stone button input, but this is our like proper input, so it works a bit better. So it's actually all the faces are perfect. actually switching as well. Yeah, all the faces actually switch as well. And I have no clue when or how I invented this. I just stumbled across it, like I yeah. do with most of my redstone builds. So thank you guys so, for watching. As always, leave a like in the comment below, and I will see you all later. Bye. You know what we always have to end a video with in Redstone? So now we're gonna try to make a TNT clock. Ha <laughs> ha! See what happens. Yes. Wait, make the hands all TNT. Yeah, I'm gonna... Oh, that actually won't work. Don't do it, don't do it. Only create the block swappers for TNT. Yes. All right, here we go. On. TNT clock. Woo! Oh, there it goes. Bye, clock. Bye. <laughs> No, it exploded. It was so bepping close. I was so close. But anyway, so, yeah. thank you guys so much, bepping, so bepping much. It means a whole lot to us for watching. And we will see you guys all later. Whee! I actually have a particle generator in this world. But why do we need it when we have epic pianta?